Mole Mania on Game Boy has probably the cutest looking moles I've ever seen. And there's some very angry man brandishing something or other at this poor mole family. And I also love the pun, you'll dig Mole Mania. Will I? I hope so. So the game's premise is that we're joining Muddy Mole in a race to destroy enemies and obstacles in an attempt to defeat the evil farmer, Jin Bay. That must be that disgruntled man with smoke coming out of his ears. So we have to essentially use black balls and tunnel our way to the next action-packed level and blast open strategic exits. Hmm. Get into the mania above ground and tunnel underground through 175 challenging puzzles? That's a crazy long game for Game Boy. Unreal. And thank goodness that there's a battery in here. Could you imagine playing through 175 stages without a save feature? So let's see what the manual has to say here. Dear Muddy, ha ha ha, I have kidnapped your wife and kids. Oh my goodness. If you want them back, you'll have to find them in Jimby land. I'll be waiting for you. I thought his name was Jim Bay. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this mole family is. It's You need to do everything in your power to get these folks back together. Look at how sweet they are. So apparently this is wife Maggie and Muddy Mole, I guess, <laughs> who's lost his wife and children. All right, so the controls look pretty easy. The manual says that we can use A when we're above ground to dig a hole. When we're underground, we can press the B button to peek above. So that's gonna be really helpful. So playing in quest mode involves breaking through exits using the black ball. This is bringing back terrible memories for me to Eagle Tower in Link's Awakening. Oh no, I hope it's not like that. Oh goodness, there's lots of enemy characters here. <laughs> Gaja looks like a walking potato most of the time. He and Azen like to hang out in the same stages. Snake face. That's also a great name. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's some completionism in this game as well. It looks like you can get up to 100 points on every level by getting all 20 cabbages, finishing the bonus stage for 20 points, getting the map and locator for 20 points, and destroying all of the exit walls. So you'd have to destroy all of them if there were more than one. Ooh, you know how much I love a completionist game. It's gonna kill me. And can we just take a moment to look at how cute this mole is? These mole babies, I would go to the ends of the earth for. They're such sweethearts. Oh wow, I really love how this whole game with the Super Game Boy has its own custom border. This looks great. Oh my gosh, these guys are even cuter. Oh no. Wow, he clubbed her. That's not subtle at all. Wow, he's not even being gentle. That's really terrible. And just leaves a note. Oh my goodness. And there's poor Muddy. Your wife and kids are mine. If you want them back, come visit me in Jimby Land. I'll be waiting. My gosh. Could you imagine? Yeah, let's get fired up. All right, so here we are. There we are. So a couple of things to try out, I guess, here. So we can dig. This is underground, I guess. I guess it would do us some good to read these signs, yes? Welcome. Hey, Furball. My seven lackeys have your family. Come and get him if you can. I'll be waiting. Wow. What does this one say? Hop hop, here you are. I'm Kangaroo. I'm the first boss. Be ready. It looks so pleasant though. Look at that smile. You shouldn't smile when you're leaving a threatening letter. I like how we're somehow in a shrine of this man who stole all of our children. How does this work? Dig like a maniac. Press A to burrow underground. Muddy moves well underground. From? I'm guessing that's Grandpa. 
So the manual mentions something about a sunglass wearing bearded mole named Grandpa Hint. And this mole's giving hints and has a beard and sunglasses. So it's probably the same person. All right, so let's try digging. Okay, so we're not allowed to go around. Does this put us somewhere better? Yes, it does. Okay. And there's a heart. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to dig where I shouldn't be. Heart? If you get this, you'll recover one quarter heart. If you get hit, your life meter will shrink. Also from Grandpa. All right, so we need to get around these logs and looks like there's a spot there. All right, we're doing all right so far. Oh, we're stuck. I like this noise when you can't get out. Well, this should do it, I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. We've made it to the exit. So I guess you have to maneuver underground around the things that are obstacles above ground for you. So we can push balls into holes and then they reappear. We can also pull on balls too though, I think. Puzzle games are hard. Have I mentioned this? There we go. That took way longer than it should have. Oh no, what do we do with this? Well, that's no fun. Aha. We went under it. I didn't realize I could do that this whole time. There, now that one's gone. Now we have enemies to fight. Oh, that wasn't very smart of me. Uh-oh. Oh no, these are those dinosaurs that we heard about. Can I shove that guy in a pit? I guess not, eh? Oh, and I guess this is me peeking out. All right, so that's what they mean. So I can see where everybody is so that I don't get hurt. I guess it doesn't make sense to block that guy over there. <laughs> All right then. Oh, yeah, we got hit there. Oh no, I thought I was still in the hole. You know, like kind of peeking? Apparently not. All right. These levels are pretty, pretty lengthy. Okay, so we just destroyed an exit. So I guess that means that we should try to destroy both, right? Because that's what we read about. And there we go. So we destroyed both exits. Get going, boy. Have you read all the signs yet? Well, don't just stand there. Get going. I adore the sense of humor in this game. Who are you? Are my signs helping you at all? I'll recover hearts for you. So just relax. Well, we got a nice massage from our grandpa friend. So apparently there's several different ways to get health in this game. There's 20 cabbages in each level, and if you drop five of them into a hole, you get a quarter of your life meter recovered. All right, so how do we get rid of this guy? Okay, so I'm just holding my grabbing button, and I guess that means I'm charging up and can... Oh, I can kick. Huh. All right, then. I'll take it. All right, so that's nice. We got a quarter heart out of that. But now we have a bit of a problem, don't we? All right, but we need this ball. How do I grab that? Oh, there we go. That was smart. Because we got to get out of that exit there. Well, what's, what's this? Oh, what did I just get? It's a map. Okay, to go to the menu, you can use the map. You can only use it in that level. Find one for each level. 
Right, because that's how we get some of those points. There we go. <laughs> oh, he got like his little puffy chest. Now, can I also kick? Oh, I can kick cabbages as well. I'm gonna hold this, throw it here. Look, we're getting the hang of this now. This is a lot more complicated than it should be. There we go. Just because of some of the controls. There's only two controls. I'm well aware. They're just tricky to control and to remember which is which. This reminds me of something out of The Adventures of Lolo. There we go. We killed them real good. Oh, good. What does this say? You're late. I got tired of waiting, so I left my kangaroo for you to play with. <laughs> I can't believe this guy had this many statues of himself commissioned. Okay, well, I guess this is the, the boss. And oh my gosh. This is gonna be tough. There's his shadow. Oh, good. Smoked him pretty good there. Oh, well, looks like we got him there. Could you imagine jumping on top of something that pointy? Oh, he's gonna try throwing his pants apples at us again. I guess it's his marsupial pouch apples, technically. But this is kids. Are they just trying to demonstrate a general disregard of people for the children of this place that we're in? Well, at least we managed to get through that fight unscathed. I'm pretty surprised by that. A giant cabbage? Oh, we rescued one of our small babies. Oh, the tears. <laughs> That's so sweet. Man, just this one little cutscene makes me want to finish the rest of this game at some point. But I think for now, that gives us a pretty good idea about what to expect. So I'd say, in general, the manual was pretty good. It, it indicated pretty well what to expect in this game, which is always nice because you never quite know what you're going to get with some of these older manuals. But this game looks like a lot of fun. I think I'm probably going to end up finishing it one of these days. And this 78 of, out of 100 and a 27 minute playthrough of the first level, holy smokes, is uh, a little bit embarrassing. The completionist in me is screaming inside. But yeah, hopefully we'll get around to finishing this someday. But thank you for joining me for a little bit of a playthrough of some of this mole mania. And we'll get back to some more manual gaming next time. Thanks so much and bye for now.